so first of all, season three. Congratulations. Thank you. How excited are you for this? I'm so excited. Um, we've been working hard. Um, we're just getting to shooting our finale episode, and it's been such a strong season. I'm really excited for people to see it. <laughs> so 930 years in the future, did you ever expect to see this sort of timeline and this time jump? No, I had no idea that this was coming down the pike, but as soon as I saw that it was happening, I thought, of course, like, this is such a brilliant decision on the writer's part and uh, Alex and Michelle's part. I think it's um, very exciting and very well executed, so. So let's talk about Tilly and what is her evolution in season three? Well, Tilly, uh, yeah, she jumped 930 years into the future. She has left behind everything she's ever known, all her family, loved ones. Um, and so she has to process that, as do um, every person on board Discovery, I think, has to process the fact that they left everything behind. And everybody they've ever known has been dead for centuries, you know? And then so there's sort of that emotional beat where everybody kind of takes that in. And I think we definitely honor that in, in a beautiful way. And I think how she rises to the occasion of taking on a new and unfamiliar future in the face of those feelings is kind of um, a really interesting like point of growth for mm -hmm. her. What would you like then, if ideally, if you said that was the most fun you had, so what would you like for season three or going forward in the future for your character? Taking on some more responsibility during a moment of chaos, like we often have on right. Star Trek before the <laughs> starship. Uh, floating around the galaxy. I think that could be pretty fun, uh, something like that. And do we get to see some fun hairstyles? Because that's something that everyone talks about each season. It's oh, really... yes, yes, you do. <laughs> you do get to see some fun hairstyles. I mean, there's like the classic high pony, mm -hmm. which um, Tilly will be delivering for you. Um, and then there's a couple other things I don't want to spoil, but there are some, I mean, there's a lot of hair moments right. globally right. on this season to yeah. look forward to. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. One thing about the characters is um, each character, when they are approaching the material, they kind of need to grasp everything. So with Discovery, there's so much with quantum physics, time crystals, wormholes. So how much do you need to grasp in order to even tackle a scene or the whole story? Oof, I mean, I am not like a science-minded person at all. Uh, my brain sort of like shuts down and puts me to sleep um, to protect myself <laughs> from the unknown, I think. We all need that. Yeah, yeah. So, but I think you have to have a like basic fundamental understanding so that what you're saying feels believable and, and real and you can make sense of the scene. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of times we have to be like, sorry, time out. What am I saying here? <laughs> What's the idea? How does this work? Um, and somebody's always there to kind of help you through it. And they have science advisors on the show, like okay. real amazing scientists who kind of check their work and make sure there's nothing glaringly out of this world um, uh, or a huge violation of the laws of physics. Mm -hmm. um, so they protect <laughs> us and have our backs, <laughs> and I try to do the best I can, but oof. Oh, I can well, imagine. So you're always running to them like, oh, is this a thing? Does this really happen? Is this true? Exactly. <laughs> like, what is this word? Right. Where am I? Yeah. How does gravity work? You know, <laughs> there's always yeah. somebody there to help us with yeah. that kind of stuff. <laughs> So with Star Trek named Discovery, so and, and I know that characters are constantly discovering something about themselves. So what have you, you as a character for Tilly, what has she discovered about herself or will be in season three? I think uh, in season three, Tilly will discover a lot more about who she will eventually be as a leader. I think she gets tested. Mm -hmm. I think those parts of herself get tested more this season than they have in the previous two seasons. and she starts to get a feeling for how she can command a room or uh, how quickly she can think on her feet. Um, uh, so I think that's sort of the that's stuff that's the gonna stuff. come out of her this season. <laughs> yeah. And building on that personally or professionally, what have you discovered about yourself on this project journey? Oh my gosh, so, so much. I mean, I'm like a weird theater nerd weirdo you know <laughs> like I am so far from like a, a soldier or a scientist <laughs> or uh, any of those things and I have had to spend a lot of time learning 
how to in inhabit those spaces that feel very unfamiliar and scary to me. Um, so that stuff has tested me and I've had to pull a lot of stuff out <laughs> of myself that I didn't think I had. Yeah. Um, not unlike Tilly has had to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. And, and lastly, Doug said that one of the most difficult things he's ever had to do in his career was memorizing lines and dialogue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to ask, what's your experience been like? Well, with that? St like Star Trek dialogue yeah. <laughs> is the hardest. I can't even imagine. I mean, it's just, just huge swaths of language about... Mm -hmm make-believe science it's yeah. so 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 hard especially if you don't have a mind for that kind of stuff and like I don't know typically people memorize things in terms of thoughts and emotion yeah. and so like having to memorize um, a bunch of like tech talk yeah. is a kind of like counter to to how we yeah. learn lines so it's been an adventure me and Doug commiserate <laughs> about line learning a lot. Yeah. Our, our, our um, comrades don't have as much issue with it as we do. We're, we're the special couple who uh, who can't, who can't <laughs> ever quite manage to get it down or we have it and then we lose it. Um, but like Anthony and Sneekwa are so amazing at that yeah. stuff. You can definitely not see that on screen. You've like, you learned that's perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's really nice well, to hear. Thank you so much for the chat. I'm really looking forward to season three and more. So thank you. yeah, thank you.